Yo ho bro, and welcome back to GopherCraft. So, last time we got all the necessities that we need for creating our base. Got all the food growings, got all the craft stuff growings, got all the areas where we're going to be crafting all these bricks going. And so now we can get working a little bit more on our castle. As you can see behind me, it's coming along okay. Uh, slower than I thought it was going to come along. But I think this is probably the pace that I should go at. Because I want to make sure that each little bit is thought through. Because as you can see right here, I have I have this, ch well, chiseled out. <laughs> chiseled out exactly the way I want it to. You have a brick here, brick here, brick here, and then there's a missing brick here right where the texture should be. So that's how I want it to go along. I want it to have, you know, like there was brick here right where the textures kind of line up. So that's how I want it to go along, you know. Brick here, brick here, brick here, missing brick here. That's how I like it. How this is going so I think we're gonna go along at this pace section uh, not really section per section but just uh, grabbing a bunch of materials and working on that so let's take a look into the base I've got a couple ideas Ooh, actually now let's stop for a second and look on the top there there is a thing that I have thought of for the sea pickles for not just an eerie deadlights inside of the swamp. But no, I've got a got another plan for these guys. I'm thinking that we can place these on top. Why? Okay. Now, the cool thing about sea pickles is that, yeah, they gather up the same way that they gather up in the water. But thankfully, you notice that they don't have that little uh, lady thing at the top uh, as they do down there because that little lady thing means that they give off light. And it's going down tonight just in time for me to show you this. There is absolutely no light that this emits, but the others in the water do. Thankfully, they pop off so that they can be reused in the water again as a light source. So, no harm to the pickle, but what we can use it as is a type of mold. Because look at this, on the surface... It looks like a, a bunch of weird uh, fungal growth on, on the surface here that is just... Oh, I can go anywhere. Oh, I can totally use this. Oh, I'm using this to my advantage. Okay, how do we want to do this? Okay, yeah, it can go anywhere. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. Okay, can it... Can it... Alright, put some up there. Yeah. Ooh. Put a couple more up there. Alright, yeah. Put a, f a couple more fungal growths up there. Yeah, that would look good. Alright, perfect, perfect! Alright, nope. I can't go on the half slab. Uh -huh. Can't go on the half slab, but it can go on the full slab. Alright. I'm liking how this goes. Ooh, can I put it on a fence post? Oh, please tell me I can put you on a fence post. Oh, I can put multiple on a fence post! Oh, that is so cool. Oh, wood has got to have a lot of mold on it. That looks weird. It's the same dimensions as a fence post. Other than fungus, what could that be used as? I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to keep one there anyways, because I don't know what to do with that. I mean, I could... I could... That is... What is that? What is that? Ooh! It looks like a zombie hand coming out of... Coming out of the water or something. Oh, that is so... F the, the little pickles are the phalanges just waving about. Ooh! Ooh, little, little hands of zombies just reaching out of the water. Oh, that is so weird. I like that. Of course, I don't know what to do about this. That It just looks too weird like that. So I can't have it on the post. The post there, that was meant to be a uh, 
a dead torch on top of a on top of a fence post. So that's what that's going to remain as. Oh, but yeah, I can put these on top of things. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, that looks a little too floaty. Not not exactly the way I want it. Some things look good floaty. That does not look good floaty. Can I put you on top of that? No, I can't. Okay. All right. So I'm excited to use these as uh, little pieces of mold just growing around here. Oh, that would be cool if I. Could... Ooh, there is should be one around. Oh, perfect. Oh, that is perfect. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so we got our little pieces of mold that we can place around chunks of these uh, mushrooms. Please do not eat the mushrooms. Do not put it in your mouth. Song. So let's come on down here and let us check out what we can do down here. There, what, there is a fantastic idea that I had for these mines down here. Now, I'm not sure if they exist in normal generation, but I'm thinking, oh yeah, um, for some reason I felt like I needed to waterlog all these chests. I'm probably going to do something with it, I just have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But anyways, all the chests are waterlogged. Uh, yes, flooded abandoned mines. Now, I was looking down here and I was thinking that this might be a good idea I don't know I really don't know but uh, I think that this would be a fantastic idea to flood these to flood these uh mine shafts now how how far do I want to flood this cuz I gotta flood these down here um, let's come through here with the pick really quickly. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, Put a bucket of water here. Get rid of that. Okay. And... I want to know something. I want to know, because I know that, for some reason, the... Uh, the... Lava will not form cobble. Oh, it will. Oh, no! What? Oh, I'm gonna kill myself, aren't I? Okay. Ooh, dangerous. Slightly dangerous. Um, okay. New plan. Alright, new plan. Oh, gosh. Okay, new plan, new plan, new plan. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay. New plan. Let's uh, let's seal up this lava, then, shall we? Because <laughs> we still want it to be a drippy lava, but we're going to have to seal this seal this guy up. And what I wanted to do before um, was kind of have it dripping down into like a chasm, like deal that was next to the water. Um, not entirely sure how I want to do that, but we might as well, we might as well just, uh, take the, put the water in first, fill it up to at least this level right here, and then probably take it up a couple notches, uh, I'm wondering if there, if I should take it up above this point, somewhere above here, Ooh. Oh, oh, that's what I should do. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I should definitely take it above this point right here. Take it above this point here. Uh, maybe up to here. Possibly. No, 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 no. I'll bring the forge right up to this point right here. I'll bring it up to here. That, yeah. Yeah, I'll bring the forge right up to here. Oh, that'll look so cool. And then I can put some more half slabs and stuff in here so that all these blocks here are waterlogged. And then all the abandoned mine shafts are flooded up to that point. Yeah, up to this up to this point up here. And yeah, there will be a chasm around 
this drippy lava over here. Yeah, we'll do that. And down here, we'll do another one of those air pocket things. We have to swim in, and then you come into the dungeon where the skeletons are. Yeah, we'll do that. So we're gonna flood these, flood these mine shafts, and then that way we will have less monsters uh, poking around. Because I still have some monsters that come around these areas. I've tried to light, light up a bunch of the stuff. Not sure how often drowned zombies spawn inside of dark waters. But we can still use sea pickles in order to light up the bottom of that. Actually, that comes bringing me a question. Do sea pickles work inside of flowing water that came on top of them? Okay, so this is my test area right here for water waterlogged stuff. Okay, sea pickle that is not lighting. Okay, water. Okay, uh, it does not flow on top of it naturally. Okay. Oh! Okay, so it lights up. He lights. Lights up. Unlights. Okay, cool. That's how that works. Oh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm not sure if I showed you this, guys. Four water source blocks inside of stairways still works as an infinite water source. Teeny little, what looks to be like a one square infinite water source. Kind of cool. Kind of super cool. Alright, so we're going to flood that area down there. We're going to craft up some more bricks and get what uh, materials we need for for the castle. Got to cut down a bunch of vines, get some more sea pickles. Uh, I'm sure, still not sure what I'm going to use the cocoa beans for other than cookies and brown wool. Might use some brown wool for something. I don't know. Poop. Mud! I'm going to use it for some concrete and some terracotta. Make some brown. Yeah, do some of that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work, and you're going to see some of the progression as well as the end progress for this phase. Alright, so I got the little chasm for the lava to fall into. Just got these little stone spires here in order to separate the water from the lava so that I can have my cake and eat it too. Both the drippy lava into a chasm as well as a flooded mine shaft. But what's really cool is I was wondering how it was going to look and I accidentally came across this. This little spot right here that allows me to see kind of a preview of what it's going to look like. And that looks super effing creepy. Oh, that looks so cool. So that's, that's what that's going to look like. Oh, I can't wait to get this thing flooded. The only downside to doing all of this is that I have to put it in layer per layer so that it isn't just flowing down water and that it is in fact all water source blocks. So I just go about water source here, water source there, getting all the water sources everywhere. Oh. My day is just swamped. Huh. Ah! Oh. <clears throat> I didn't notice you there. Um. Why haven't you spawned any, uh. Any spiders? That's concerning. Well, this entire time that I've been filling this thing up, there has been no spiders that have spawned in that thingy over there. Huh. Do spider webs... Can spider webs be waterlogged? I don't think so. Huh. Well, we're just going to destroy a bunch of start and spider webs. Ooh. Do, ah, yes, I do have my shears on me. I might be able to take out those spider webs and use them for another purpose. Well... I got it all flooded, um, and it looks really, really cool. Let me pop back into the first person here. Got the caves all flooded up to the 
forge right up here, put in a few more sea pickles around the area and some sea pickles as mold stuff around here and it looks really awesome. Got the chasm working the way I want it to, got the lava falling down here separated from the water. Uh, when I put in this water, this uh, stair thingy here became a waterlogged block which caused the lava underneath this little uh, space right here to become a cobble. So right there is a cobblestone block. I uh, got kind of lucky because this block here and this block here and this block here, uh, it's it's not allowing the lava to naturally flow over the top. So it looks like it's going into a vat there. So thankfully, as long as I don't mess with it, I'm pretty sure it, the lava will stay like this for the forge. Okay, so you come to, you got, uh, I'm gonna show you this water source in here because I've been doing a bit more than just flooding this in. I got this, and this is starting to look cool. This underwater cave chasm, or, uh, yeah, the ravine. Ravine, that's what it's called, under cave chasm. <laughs> the underwater cave chasm. So these are starting to look good. I haven't completely flooded some of these. That's completely flooded. That is not. Um, this is really cool. I've also got myself a little bit of armor just so that I can breathe down here and so that I can move around. I'm not using this stuff for combat. Uh, I'm not going to put mending on it so that'll give me more reason to take it off during combat. So moving this around. Going down here. Yeah, this looks super cool. I love how these this looks. Oh, this looks so cool. Is awesome. And so I'll probably have less monsters coming into this area now. Uh, I haven't had any drowned whatsoever. I don't think they actually spawn in underwater caves. I think what happens is that a zombie just falls into the water and becomes a drowned because I I had this area lit up uh, not lit up for a while and no zombies spawned at all alright so that's down there that's the flooded things I put more sea pickles around here for to look and act as mold plus I put some underneath these trap doors right here to act as lights. I'm thinking I'm going to be doing this thing so that I can have some hidden light pockets instead of these torches all around. Um, I put in some missing portions. I put down just cobble because this is supposed to be a mine shaft, so I'm not going to be putting brick down here. I'm going to be putting brick down this staircase, however, on either side. I did the sea lantern uh, well, sea pickle lantern on the side here to get rid of the torches because the torches don't look that great in a damp environment. I'm going to have to do the same down here. And I'm not sure if there's too many of these. If I'm going to have to alternate, alter, alternate the sides. But for right now, I have light down the staircase. I'm going to have to figure out something else because I'm not sure if I totally like this on one side. Maybe I should put it on both sides or alternate. One of the two. Anywho, um, over here put in a bunch more water pockets. So there's a flow of water that goes down there that I was talking to you about. And it kind of snakes around here and it goes down into a uh, unknown depth there as well. Whoa, a lot of lag. And this guy goes straight up to the surface. Awesome. And, oh yeah, castle. Gotta show you that soon. That is looking really cool. I'm loving how the castle is coming together. 
Uh, let's see here, anything minor around here that I can show you before I head to the big reveal of the castle? I don't think so. I'm just putting a little bit more bo pockets of water around here. And the lanterns. And I think I'm going to put some more cobble uh, pockets of deteriorating stone down the hallway, kind of like this right here, and this over over here too. Just put some smaller ones as well. Yeah, I think that's it minor-wise. Uh, well, I kind of flooded this area. Ooh, that's right, I had a waterfall of going through this, and water coming through here. So that's flooding up this and then falling out there into that ravine there. And that's why that is flooded. So, I thought that was kind of cool. And then, let's head up to the castle. Show you that. Oh yeah, it's raining. Ooh. Ooh, it's raining. Oh, it's gonna look cool. Oh, okay. Alright. So, we're coming along on this guy. It's... It's moving along really nicely. I'm loving how this is lo looking. Got some stone walls in here to start separating the different chambers that we may or may not have, depending on the state of deterioration. Got the main walkway here. Got the throne up here. And I think I'm going to put some stained glass in here with probably a couple holes down here and one massive hole up there where the where most of it has fallen apart. So, I'm gonna put the stained glass there. Putting in some, um, I think they're buttresses. Either that or they're just support arches. I think buttresses are actually on the outside of the building. Going to figure out how, if we're going to have, um, if we're going to have any exterior buttresses to uh, put in uh, I put in some damp and rotting wood on the second floor Got some dark oak and some spruce in here and just to Accentuate I put the spruce in in order to accentuate the The dark oak because if I just put in dark oak, it doesn't look wet enough So it has to have something to contrast against so that's why I put in the spruce so that way it looks a little bit better so yeah this this is looking fantastic i'm loving this put in some more of these uh sea pickles on the on the surface and around on the wall so yeah this is looking fantastic i love this this is looking really good um, I put in, not sure what to do with this yet, put in some more flooring as well. Um, well, by flooring I mean supports down here, so that way have something to actually hold up the stone. So we'll fly through here. Yeah, this is looking super cool. This is looking fantastic. I love this. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Next time, we'll be doing more on this castle, maybe uh, flying around to other people's bases to uh, see what they've been doing because we've been uh, on here for about a couple weeks now, so see how people are starting to come along with their designs of their bases and possibly get some inspiration to add some things to our base as well. So, until next time, y'all, this is the Buka signing out.